Welcome back to WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. We are positively at Cooper's North. I've got the Cooper's menu here. I've already got the gumbo in my belly. They tried to get me the crab soup and the cream of crab soup and all the rest of this stuff, but I went with the gumbo. We're going to have a crab cake here a little later on. It is the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. We are in May's Chapel, Lutherville. It's all brought to you by our friends at Window Nation. I did have the bucket hat on earlier. Um, I actually left my visor in Costas a couple weeks ago, so i got to find Pete and Nick. Maybe i get that back. Uh, Window Nation, 866-90Nation. Make sure you're taking great care of them. Our friends at Goodwill, Lisa Rosiniak came on this week talking about recycling plastics. They have a place out in Winchester. They're doing that, making sure stuff doesn't wind up in the landfill, and making sure that uh, you're taking care of for Halloween. Uh, we are going to be a family of four David Bowies for Halloween. I don't know if I'm Aladdin Sane or Ziggy Stardust. I'm not really sure. I want to be the Thin White Duke. Uh, we're going to be getting our costumes at Goodwill. And don't forget, you can give. My wife and I have three closets full of stuff. We're going to take one full closet tomorrow, hopefully over the next couple weekends. And last but never least, the Maryland Lottery. Of course, uh, we're letting ourselves play out here. Greg Landry, our friend, longtime sponsor, and uh, Towson Transfers, um, as well as uh, father-in-law, Harvey Myers of the great Emerald Tavern, letting himself play. A little Raven scratch off there for you. I hope you're the $20,000 winner. Me too. If Thank Kate you. won 20 grand, she ain't telling me right now. She's sneaking out the yeah, door. She's so, sneaking uh, out. Make sure you're taking care of uh, Dogfest and dogfest.org. What's up, man? Thanks for coming out short notice. Beautiful day. Nice to be here. Well, it's always good to see you. Dude, you're, this is, you look like you're going to Preakness. You look sexy. Was that? That's Thank nice. You. What do you, what do you? You're all fresh. You're fresh on a Friday. Is, is this a fall look? This was a, it was a networking event this morning, and I thought, you know what? We don't get to go to these live networking events much anymore, and I thought, you know, I'm going to pull out the, the suit coat here and nice. get my pink shirt, well, my new nice. shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. It almost looks springy for right. how cold I was this morning when I woke right. up. Yes. Windows open. A little chilly. My wife's like, let's sleep with the windows open. It's nice. It's, it's good for you. To, and I, it's not good for me when i got to pee at 2 in the morning and I'm frozen. You know what I mean? I... Yeah, coming attractions. Yeah, I can't have all that. You have Towson transfers. You've uh, been at it with Blue Rock uh, for a long, long time, long time shooting video. I think mm -hmm. last time you were on, you talked about old Baltimore Bandits games. Yes, we did. Craziest thing happened yesterday on Facebook. I got served an ad, and it said, limited time only, buy your Baltimore Bandits replica jersey. And I'm thinking... Nobody ever had an original one. You know what I mean? Nobody has bandit stuff. I don't see a band. They, they, they did have a, um, they created a Bud Light giveaway, and I've seen it in a handful of bars. Okay. There is this beautiful, ornate Baltimore band that's like mirror. That'd be cool. That, that still, I'm trying to think of where I saw it. In the last year or two, I've seen it one or two places. I've seen a couple of them. But I have not seen, like right here, if you look up here at, at Cooper's, you got UMBC, Towson, Johns Hopkins, Maryland, Ravens, Loyola. I'm going to tell you right now, I have never been anywhere where I've seen anything Bandit related. You know, like th that they even existed. Right. And it showed up on my timeline yesterday trying to get me. I screenshot it because I thought, who's buying one? No, maybe you, me, I don't know. Right. Paul De Podesta. I, maybe that's about it, right? I have a, I have a Bandit winter jacket. I still have it. Purple, silver, purple, with the raccoon on it. Yeah, yeah. I still have it. I'll let oh. you borrow it. Oh, I wear that. I'll let you borrow my heart belt buckle if you want it. Oh, sweet. I've been hearing that? about these. Yeah, nice. Who's your band? Who's your classic rock band? Uh, Boston. Oh, I got some great Boston belt buckles. I would have known that if I would have worn that for okay. you. Okay. All what right. Next ones? time. What are your other bands? Like Kansas. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin. I got a Zeppelin buckle. Got, yeah. yeah. The Cars. Oh, I have two beautiful Cars buckles. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the Police. And there's only one Police buckle. I have that one. Yeah. Okay. Nice. The cars, see, these buckles are like baseball cards. I'm learning more about them, and nobody knows anything about them. That's the amazing thing, is that they were made in Pacifica, California. In all this, of them. All of them. They all have on the back. This is a really unique one because it has this marking on it that's sort of like a holy grail thing nobody understands. It's a, it's a Pegasus on the back. There's a Pegasus on the back of it. And huh. it has something to do with Bill of Coin. This is a Pacifica 1977 belt. Nice. And it says Pacifica on it. But no one really knows. My heart belt buckle. No one really knows much about these. This is a really, really rare, hard-to-get foil version of it. It's beautiful. Where'd you get it? Uh, on the interweb. Okay. On the in I get these on the interweb. You have to go and bid and have fun. But 
nobody really knows what they're like worth or how many of each one was made or what the distribution was. There, it, it's everybody's familiar with them our age. Everybody was in the KB toy store and saw them. Right. I bought a Led Zeppelin one. It was the only one I ever had until last year, and I've kind of gotten you know I'm having fun collecting them. My wife and son say it's really cute that I, I have a hobby. My dad's my, my son's like dad you have a hobby. It's so cute. You know. Cute. Well, my hobby used to just be like doing this job that I do here. Right. And your hobby used to be like holding the camera, recording things. And now it's like your career, Towson Transfers, right? That's right. That's Tell me right. about what you do. So, uh, good example. Uh, yesterday, a gentleman came in. He is, they're coming up on their 50th anniversary of their high school championship game. And so he has... So 72. 72. Okay. Has it on film, right? He's had this five-inch reel of film. And he's, they're getting together. What's it, film? Is that a Super 8? What, what is it? That was Super 8. Okay, all right. Yeah, so right. it's really thin, you know, okay. and uh, so he had this reel, and he was getting together with so the guys. So somebody had a bell and howl? Yeah. Uh, sa- no sound on it? Is no it? sound. No sound, okay. No, and they're, they're just following the action, and uh, so we... 1972, so it's that black and silver Steve Sable looking, right? Like, yes. literally, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. And so uh, we, we're transferring that so he and his friends can watch it at their reunion that they're having, the 50th reunion of this football game. So that's exciting. Then the next day, I kid you not, another guy comes in, coming up on a 50th anniversary. He had a, a film, and I thought, could it have been the same game from a different view? It wasn't, but I thought for a second that would have been super cool. Different game, though. Different game. What school? What high school? It was, uh, one was Perry Hall. Okay. And one was Westminster. So you have the Perry Hall 1972 championship game, black and white or color? Do we even know? Color. Color. Okay. Yep. So you've done the work already. Yes. You've looked at it. Yes. That must be like magic. Nobody's ever seen it, right? Like literally, it's been in a box 50 years. Yeah. And he bra- he doesn't even have a projector. Did he ever show it one time back then, or no? Likely uh, at the time, but you it's know, 50 years, man. 50 years. That's crazy. Yeah. So oh, they were they man, were they were watching gift. the films after you know after the games and you know they had all the who were they playing? <laughs> oh gosh, you don't know? I don't remember. No, but that would be neat for the other team too. It would. You know, it somebody would. went. It was the class of '72, and they were like, "We have lost film of your high school championship game." That's like Uncle Rico stuff. Exactly. So very cool, very cool. So that's the kind of stuff we do. Uh, things that are old, we make them new again. We turn them into digital, so you can share them, watch How them, you edit them. Charge somebody for something like that. I mean, it's your equipment, it's your time. Are you giving it to them on an MP4? Or are you yeah. handing them a DVD or like depending whatever on, they want? I'm going right? to be honest with you. Depending on the age of the person who is receiving it, sometimes uh, some of our older folks are, are more used to DVDs and they don't really understand digital files like some of the right, older right, folks. Right, 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 right. So they're wanting a DVD. It doesn't feel as real to you when you can't hold it. Right. It right. really doesn't. So some people want that, and I don't blame them. So we can do both. We can get you a DVD. We can get you a digital file. Uh, or, you know, I can put it on a thumb drive for you. So that's the, how we're delivering these things. All right, so my story with Greg. Greg Landry's been in my life a long, long time. Uh, he's married to Harvey uh, Meyer's daughter, who <laughs> Harvey was my first sponsor at the Emerald Tavern back in the 90s. Anybody? Listen, there's not a long period of time that goes by without somebody coming up to me and talking about a potty party, Harvey, Emerald, I remember you there, Oilers, Marcella, who owns Coco's, was always there. So when I see her and I go have a crab cake at Coco's. Um, so Greg shot my wedding, uh, various commercials. By the way, uh, all of the Free the Bird shirts, the original shirts, I'm getting rid of. I have maybe 50 of them left. If you want one or two, let me know. They're about to go to Goodwill tomorrow. I'm, I'm serious. Put me down for a but, couple. Yeah, uh, let me text my wife on that. Tell her that right now before we go. Uh, hold on. I'm going to do this right now while we're on the air here. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, Greg Landry. Greg Landry wants free the birds shirts. What sizes? I'll tell her right now. She'll pull them. Let's go uh, with a large and extra large. Uh, large and XL. All right. So that's done. Part so of I, history there. The Free the Birds, you did the commercial that people saw in 2006 and all that. But more than that, you came back into my life in a big way. And, and you were just Facebook friends. We were life, life or pals. Mm-hmm. And you knew about the lost Mike Flynn videotape. I have been riding Flynn. I, I should ride him right now, too. He didn't come on a show this week. He's probably mad at me like Bashadi. I don't know. Um, but, but Flynn shot the video from the first parade 
February 1st, 2001, 21 years ago, and then proceeded to lose this little tape. It was a little, was it Super 8, High 8? Mm-hmm. So the tape, Mini TV. Mini DV. Tiny little, tiny little tape that he lost for 18 years. In the middle of the plague, it showed up in a FedEx at my house. Flynn made me sign for it, call him immediately to let him know that, yeah. that the eagle had landed. And I had this tape, and I went out on the internet and said, the tape is coming. And you said when the tape arrives, you would pick it up. Yep. He literally picked it. I didn't have the tape an hour. Yep. Greg's at my house getting the tape, transferring it, and the next morning, this 23 MB MP4 is in my inbox. Mm-hmm. And I, like, I cried watching it. Wow. I cried. Wow. I, I promise you. I said to my wife... I'm getting a cup of coffee. I'm going in the back. If you hear me sniffling, nobody died. It's just going to freak me out. You know, it's going to freak me out watching this moment in my life. So those 72 Perry Hall Gators or yeah. those 72 Westminster, were they the Owls? I think they were. Were they the Owls? I think, whatever Westminster is. Um, they're going to freak out when they see something yes. that has been lost and trapped. Yep. And in your mind, not a picture, not something – not your mom's wedding gallery, a video that you can't access because you don't have the equipment, but you know something or someone really special is on it. Yes. How many of those 72 guys are gone now? Right. Lost, no, he, he was, right? He was I mean, telling me like, a lot of them have, have been lost and a lot of guys are getting older, but now they'll all have it. And it's because it's a digital file. Once I make it digital and send him a link, he share. can send it to everybody share. on the team, and they can all have it within an instant. So just like we send it to you, send it to them. Mike Flynn had it right away. Good. You know who really wanted it really bad? Peter Bulware's wife. Okay. Kenzie Bulware. When she saw me on there that I was getting it, she's like, Peter and I need to have a copy. We don't have a copy. We didn't, we didn't bring our camera that day. We rode in the parade, but we didn't video the parade. So you sent it to her? Oh, absolutely. Good. Yeah, so it's getting million, around. Oh, a million percent. Good. I never gave a copy to Goose, but I bet his kids are going to want it. Sure. His kids are going to want that yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 But there, you bring up a good point. Uh, when people come, there's a lot of emotion attached to this. I've had people at my table at Towson Transfers, they would they they've cry. They, they've, they've cried telling the stories they, they about what's on there. They might not leave it, though. They might want to say, I want to sit here with you with it. Because that tape means everything to me, and uh, right. I can't give you that. I right. can't, I can't right. just leave that with you, right? Be yeah. Like leaving my Super Bowl ring with you. I can, you can borrow it, but you can't take it home. You know, yeah. like I felt that way about the tape when it came. So did Flynn. Yeah. He was worried something was going to happen to it at this late stage well, that yeah. it's going to get trapped in your high eight machine or something awful would right. happen, right? Well, that, that's, that's the other point is because we're local, right? People like coming that face to face. They want to be able to shake my hand, look me in the eye, and say, you know, you're going to take good care of this? Yeah, we will. So uh, people don't want to send their things out. There's companies out there you can send it to. I don't want to mail it to Iowa. No right, way. Right, no so way. And when Flynn was worried about sending it to, you know, that's, that's why. You know, it's like it's you want one. to make sure. It's, one it's one. only one. So yeah. uh, that's why we're here local right here in Towson, right behind uh, Total Wine there on Locker Raven Boulevard. Right near WNST, right around the corner from Dr. Around Steve corner. Elliott, right around the corner from one of our great sponsors, Conrad Seafood Market, where Greg uh, kicked off the Maryland Crab Cake Tour about six weeks ago. Uh, he is one of our sponsors now. You hear the ads for Towson Transfers. Clever ads. Thank you. Thank Clever. You. He does ads. He does this for <laughs> a living. Tell everybody how to find you and uh, you know maybe set something up. If they have a box of ish that they need done, video transfer, photo yeah. transfer, you, you have a lot of different services. Give me a call. Let's talk about it. It's uh, 410-358-7000 or easier, TowsonTransfers.com. TowsonTransfers.com. Well, we're at Cooper's North. You've been here before? Yes, I have. Get the gumbo. Uh, Leonard's over there waiting for the gumbo right now. He's about to get real happy. I don't blame him. From what I can see. Um, We're doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. It's all brought to you by the Maryland Lottery. We're letting ourselves play up here. Goodwill, Win Donation, and, of course, the Restaurant Association of Maryland. You still doing commercials and stuff? Not as much. Not as much. Yeah, that's a different – like, cable TV created an industry for people doing local commercials, right? It really did. Yeah. And the Internet, to some degree, but one of the things that's taken it away is the world's gotten pretty easily sophisticated with – Video. The world's caught up to you and then me, I guess, right? Yeah, that's true. And also, uh, a lot of the like, cable companies and the local stations, what they'll do is when they, uh, uh, it's all about the ad time. It's about the air time. So they will kind of throw in their production. So, you know, they're kind of getting it for free as sure. part of their package. So it made it hard for independent companies like mine to uh, get into that. But we, we have done a wide variety of things, as you know, over the years. And so, you know, we're, we're still doing fine. Camera, video, audio, production. 
makes me sound good from time to time when I don't sound good, which isn't all that often. Greg Landry, Towson Transfers. Find him out of Towson Transfers. Uh, you can find me, and we're going to have him up on the website as well. Uh, we are revamping the website here this week. Big thanks to Hartford Designs uh, for pitching and helping us out. Uh, big appreciation for Jessica on that. And, of course, Mike Rosenfeld, my chief digital officer. We had a little digital hiccup. We had all this traffic come to the site on that Wednesday night when I announced the uh, tragic end of my Ravens uh, fandom and uh, seat and uh, media status, although I'm writing columnists every Monday. Uh, but the site got crashed. Uh, bad things happened. We had a bad host, uh, a, 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 an American company that had been sold off. Um, and over the 10 days, we've improved everything. But I just want to give a shout-out to anybody that's been out to the website, uh, seeing Greg or seeing any of our sponsors, uh, that we are piecing it back together. And by my birthday, I think we're going to have an incredibly interesting new layout, design, and a whole bunch of cool stuff with local stuff uh, that we are BaltimorePositive.com. I'm going to get a crab cake, step out, take a break. Scratch a lottery ticket, or maybe you could win 20 grand on that. I hope I do. I just hope you win like 10 bucks and I get a free beer out of it. That's all I hope. <laughs> Greg Landry, uh, Towson Transfers. Don't forget Leonard Raskin as well. Uh, we had Caroline out here as well from Sotheby's, Caroline Evans. Uh, Terry Beck, who also joined us here from Cooper's Tavern, brought me an ice cold, heavy seas Cooper's lager. So I'm appreciative of that. Uh, and of course, earlier in the show, Kate Pika joined us. And we also had Terry Aronson and Frank Collada Tark from Tark's Grill came by to talk about the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation. So it's been an eventful day, day out here. This crab cake well tour done. is a good idea. It's even a better idea when I get a crab cake and a beer. Greg Lantry, Towson Transfers. I am Nestor. We are WNST, AM 1570. Towson, Baltimore. You might get a crab mallet one day, but you'll never find one with a beer opener on the other side. Back for more Baltimore Positive right after this. <laughs>